Hi, kindergartners. Last time we talked about inviting others to play. Eddie wanted to invite Austin to play because he noticed he was all by himself and he was having empathy for Austin because he knows it's not fun to be all by yourself. So he wanted to invite Austin to enjoy to join playing with Marietta with the ball. And so they decided to do that. And so that worked out great for all of them. I hope that you will remember to do that when you see somebody playing all by themselves. It isn't fun to be the one left out, is it? No. What are some ways that are fair to play? Let's look at our poster. Some fair ways to play. I'm going to move that up just a little bit. There we go. Fair ways to play. We have sharing. Sharing is a very nice way to play. We have trading and taking turns. Have you tried all of those ways when you're playing? Sharing, you can both do the same thing at the same time, even more than two people. Taking turns, if you both want to play with a certain toy, you can set a timer or just play for a little bit and then trade. And Trading is if I have a ball and you have a ball and then we could trade it. I can trade my ball to you and you can trade your ball to me. And then we both get a chance to play with both of the things. So that works out really well. Here are Matthew and Fiona. Fiona is playing with the big dinosaurs that belong to the school. And she's been playing with them for a little while now. And Matthew is really wanting a turn. Can you tell that he's looking over at those big dinosaurs? And he really wants a turn. And he has the little dinosaurs. How do you think Matthew is feeling? Is he a little sad or a little disappointed maybe? He just really wants a turn with those. Let's say the first steps for problem solving together. Let's help Matthew. The first step is say the problem. He wants to play with the big dinosaurs and Fiona has both of them, so he can't right now. Think of solutions. What could Matthew do? Could he ask Fiona to trade? Trade the big dinosaur and the small dinosaur? He could do that. Could he ask Fiona to take turns with him? He could do that also. And what about sharing? Sharing is another option. They could play together with all of the dinosaurs. Think about which solution you would offer to Fiona. Which one would you say, Fiona? Will you trade with me, or share with me, or take turns? Matthew decides to ask Fiona if she would like to share. So they can have all the dinosaurs together, and they can play with all the big ones and all the little ones. And Fiona decides, that sounds like a great idea. And so that's what they end up doing. They share all of them together. Today you learned three fair ways to play. Sharing, trading, and taking turns. These fair ways to play can help you have fun together with other students. Or even at home if you have siblings or a friend over or cousins. Yeah. See how many times you can use fair ways to play this week. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.